Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and today I have a really exciting unboxing for you. It's an unboxing of Rhodoxus. Now anyone who has watched my videos last year will remember the beautiful, beautiful Rhodoxus fairy kisses, good name eh, that I got and that flowered so wonderful for me all summer long. Every greenhouse update that I did last year, this was the star of the show. Well, I've tracked down the hybridizer for those particular Rhodoxus and I've ordered from him. So today we are going to unbox some gorgeous, gorgeous Rhodoxus. You are very welcome to this video, which is all about Rhodoxus, which is a cross between two very small and very beautiful South African bulbs. We're talking major cutie here. And I am just gonna get to it and start opening this box as I tell you all about it. Rhodoxus are intergeneric hybrids between Hypoxus and Rhodohypoxus. Now, Hypoxus was described to science first in 1876. These small plants are easily recognised by their bright yellow star-shaped flowers and elongated leaves. Ooh. Exciting, exciting. It was several decades later, however, before the very similar rhodohypoxis was described. Now, the difference between hypoxis and rhodohypoxis is that rhodohypoxis has different petal shapes and colours, and its flower petals stand in two rows. In the wild, these two different genera have made a few natural hybrids, but mostly the hybridization work has been done by man in the UK and in the Netherlands. And the result of this hybridization is hybrid vigor and a long, long flowering season. The Rhodoxus I'm opening today are from the Dutch nursery called Jaap Daus Kvekerai. And I'm putting that up on the screen and in the video description as the spelling is quite hard for us English speakers. The Rhodoxus called Fairy Kisses that you saw me grow last year also comes from them. And it's their own hybrid. So this is a variety called Sarah. And it's described as a Rhodoxus with pink edged white flowers. And in the middle of the flower is a red eye with prominent yellow anthers. It flowers and grows well. And here, as you will recall, is pretty much what I got last time. But I just want to say that I only ordered three of these corms. And look at all the growths I have. So I think Mr. Dows has been particularly generous. My goodness, so, so many of them. It's gonna be brilliant. And more, goodness. But I remember this last time when I ordered the uh, fairy kisses, there were lots more than I thought would be in the box. Okay, so that's the first one. And the next one here is Bloodstone, which is an English cultivar. And again, my goodness, wow, that is a hefty, hefty, hefty clump. Look at all the growths on that. Fantastic. And there are more in there. So as I mentioned, this is Bloodstone, a smaller English Rhodoxus with a lot of red flowers. It flowers and grows well. And this one here is Sandra. And oh yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Now it's pink, pale pink again. But what I really, really love about this is that it has an almost closed eye. 
and this is a really attractive feature of Rhodoxis and some Rhodohypoxis I believe as well. I just love when you can't actually see the central bit at all because it's overlapped almost like folded with the petals folded in really really good and oh my goodness look at the enormous enormous clump I have here. Now, I'm not going to take them out because they look the same as the last ones, but you'll have seen the photograph. This is a real, real gem. Love it. Okay, we'll put that over here. And then, aha, okay, finally. Well, you know how last year I had the fairy kisses? Well, this is a variety of fairy kisses and it's called fairy snow and it's white, but it, I guess, is similar in other ways with fairy kisses, including how many flowers it produces and just how amazing it is and how long it goes on for all through the summer. And um, let's see. Wow. And I, I've got an amazingly big clump in here again, which I'm not going to take out. Now, I made a video last year when I originally got fairy kisses. And if you check that out, you can see how to pot them up. So that's great. Okay, and just finally, I wanted to let you know a little bit about the hybridization process that takes place to produce amazing beauties like this. And the process takes place in the Kvekarai in the Netherlands with open pollination. So basically the insects that are in the nursery, mostly bees and hoverflies, they naturally pollinate the plants that are available there and they set seed. And seed is collected immediately and sown while it's fresh. And germination takes three to six weeks. And the result then is that the following year you might have flowers, which is really a very quick turnaround. So you might think that's all very quick and easy, but it isn't because the longer process of deciding what to keep an eye on, what is beautiful, what needs to be monitored to see if it is vigorous enough and flowers well enough for the market, that takes much, much longer. So in the end, it takes a minimum of eight to ten years from when the seed was originally collected to when a cultivar might actually go on the market and that you or I could be lucky enough to purchase something as beautiful as that. So very interesting and I, I will be a wonderful thing to observe and to actually carry out. It must be a very exciting job to have I would say. And where on earth does time go? It's over a month since I made the first section of this video where I received and unboxed my Rhodoxis and potted them up. And it's over a month now and my Rhodoxis are in glorious, glorious bloom right here behind me. So we're going to have a look. I'm blocking them at the moment, but let's just have a look at these amazing beauties. This first one here is called Sandra. And just look at how she has filled out that pot. Absolutely magnificent. And she's been flowering so much that some of these blooms even need to be deadheaded now at this stage. I don't know, can you see there? But that one needs to come off, which I won't do with my hands. We'll get a secretaire in there and do it properly. That one has been the most floriferous of all of them so far. And I absolutely love it. But hold your horses because over here we have the most adorable little gem you have ever seen in your life. And this one is called Bloodstone. It's the English cultivar. And I wonder, can you see how the flowers open red and then fade to pink? And we are gonna get a little close up of those red flowers because they are to die for. The petals fold over in the middle to obscure the eye completely, a feature I absolutely love. Ooh, this is the least vigorous of the four that I bought, but I think in terms of the flowers, it's my favorite. And over here we have another Dutch hybrid, and this one is called Sarah, and look how brilliantly she's doing. She's really quite a small thing compared to the other two we've looked at. And you can see that if we compare her to the 
Fairy Kisses white version behind, which has much bigger flowers. But she is an absolute gem. Don't you just love something that flowers its socks off? And behind her we have Fairy Kisses, the white variety. And look what a beautiful, beautiful pure white that is. Absolutely gorgeous. It's really hard to pick favourites here. I love this one a whole lot. And that brings me to the end of this video about Rhodoxus. Oops, let's not spill the grit everywhere. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous little things that I fully intend to enjoy all summer long. If you're interested in checking out the Dutch nursery, then the link is in the details of this video. Please do so. And if you're interested in memberships, oh yeah, I've got to tell you about memberships then what you need to do is hit the join button and you would see what you would be eligible for, including free seeds and my free e-booklet if you were to join. And that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.